Now, you remember that a week or so ago, I took a question posed by Senator Lydia Thorpe about what kind of a person we thought she is, and I played some clips of her own actions and statements that really answered the question for us. Well, she's had another go at that today when she turned up at a women's rights protest, the sort of protest she and others describe as anti-trans. So here's that question again. What kind of person do you think I am? And here's how she helped us answer that question today. The Daily Mail in the United Kingdom is the polar opposite. They know what biological sex is you and they celebrate women you like myself. Morgan. Morgan. That sort of behaviour, hey? It only makes you wonder, doesn't it? What kind of person do you think I am? Well, she answered that again, I reckon, when she described what happened to her today. And I got pulverised by the police, so I've been assaulted by the police today. Really? Pulverised and assaulted? Well, you saw it and you heard her description. What sort of a person is Senator Lydia Thorpe? Let's get the panel's answer on that. I'm joined by Gemma Tognini from GT <laughs> Communications and one third of the late debate, Caleb Bond. You go first, Caleb. What sort of a person is Lydia Thorpe? Well, a dead set drongo, I think, is, is probably the way to <laughs> describe her. Good know, what, what, what else could we use? Uh, nincompoop, halfwit. I mean, you could pull out every word under the sun to describe Lydia Thorpe. What about yeah. vicious, nasty and unsenatorial? I think that's probably spot on. I mean, can you imagine sitting in one of the, the most privileged, highest places in the land as a senator? It is an utter privilege to represent people in this country and that is the way you treat the opportunity to be a senator. You run around like an idiot, you walk down onto the, well not on the steps, but the, the lawns in front of Parliament telling people they're not welcome to speak. Any person who sits in Parliament and thinks that you're not welcome to hold a protest <laughs> on the lawns of Parliament does not deserve to be there because that is the entire point of democracy. She and is she's, a disgrace. She's a radical activist.